Next, there are the Igbo. Now, they're existing in the lower Niger region, which we see here. It's a fairly small region when you look at all of Africa, but of course, uh, large when you're there. Africa as a continent is massive. And their traditions will date back over a thousand years. Uh, now, obviously, we're seeing hybridization in modern times. In other words, their culture is interacting with cultures around them, with the culture, predominantly the culture of the West, which is being imported into Africa. So we end up with a situation where their ideas and concepts are mixing with contemporary Western ideas to create something a little bit new. This is known as hybridization. But our focus here is what's called the Mbari House. Now, natural gods demanded a new Mbari house be built every 50 years. This is sort of a religious precinct more than anything else. Generally, they're built of mud, which is another reason they're rebuilt on a regular basis, because they're going to uh, suffer from the weather over time. But this sort of recreation of a religious temple is actually really common in the world. You could think of uh, some of the Hindi temples in India or the shrine to Amaterasu in Japan where these are either rebuilt or refinished in a given cycle. So we're seeing the same thing here. Usually it's about community building and a renewal in terms of the spirituality of the individuals and the community. Inside, we generally see unfired clay sculpture and paintings. And here we're seeing the interior of one of these structures. Now you'll notice the sculptures are oftentimes larger than life size. We're actually going to look at two specific sculptures here. Uh, so here we see these two painted clay sculptures. Now these are unfired, so this is raw clay. And we see Allah and her consort, the thunder god. The female figure, Allah, has traditional body paint and a traditional hairstyle. While he has this very modern sort of clothing. The difference in clothing speaks to modernity and tradition, both viewed as positive. In other words, we're going to try and maintain the old traditions, but also accept modernity on the other hand. This is always seen as a problem. This is the basis of hybridization, especially in non-Western cultures. Now, you're looking at this going, well, one of these figures is not like the other. Well, men are allowed modern attire, while women are forced into more traditional roles and clothing in this society. So we see the female dressed in very traditional clothing, presented in a very traditional way, the male in a very modern form, uh, wearing a button-down shirt, a tie, a western hat, western shorts, shoes, and socks. Exactly what we would expect from a Western perspective. The bodies are elongated, and this is to express dignity and power. And you say, well, that's really odd. Why would you do that? We do the same thing in the West. We usually do it with female forms, but look at mannerism. Look at uh, some of the paintings of the Baroque period. Look at more recent pieces, such as Grand Olesque, in the Romantic. And what you'll see is in the West, we elongate figures to give them a sense of grace and dignity. They're doing exactly the same thing. Uh, they're just doing it in a more cylindrical form. They're not focused on realism here. Instead, they're stylizing in a traditional form. The construction of the Umbari is a stylized world renewal ceremony. The idea that they are somehow renewing their spiritual world every time they rebuild the house. The house is allowed to disintegrate and is never repaired. Now, from our perspective, that seems really odd. 
from a Western perspective. After all, we frequently look at art as something that should be permanent. You couldn't imagine letting the Mona Lisa decay and fall apart over time. And yet that's precisely what they're doing. And there are more modern movements starting in the 60s and 70s called the ephemeral art movement, where we do exactly the same thing in the West. We create art with the intention of it slowly decaying. So it's not a really unusual concept.